Wildlife Rescue is a miracle. I mean, it really is a miracle. I started it with nothing in a small backyard in San Antonio. The dream, the goal, the plan was always to have 200 acres in the Texas Hill Country. That's what we have now. It took a long time. It took a lot of people doing a lot of hard work and a lot of dedication, devotion, compassion, energy. And to me, all those things coming together every day for 35 plus years, that's a little miracle. Wildlife rescue and rehabilitation has come a long way from Lynn rescuing that very first bobcat in the dining room of her San Antonio house. It now has over 200 acres with room to roam in the Texas Hill Country. One person's intense passion and love for animals grew into a thriving organization with more than 35 staff and apprentices, all working around the clock in the 24 hour service of animals. Today, Wildlife Rescue responds to nearly 10,000 inquiries and requests every year for wildlife assistance on their 24 seven hotline. Nearly 7,000 orphaned, injured, or displaced animals are brought to Wildlife Rescue every year by caring individuals. These animals are given the best possible care in Wildlife Rescue's fully equipped animal hospital. Their on-site staff, veterinarian, and technician work closely with caregiving staff from sunup to sundown towards the ultimate goal for these individuals. It's gonna be worth the hassle of getting caught. There you go. Okay, your friends are right over here. There, release. <laughs> After spending anywhere from a day to several months in rehabilitation and receiving treatment, the animals are released back to where they belong, the wild. Releases take place on approved sites that meet species-specific needs. Wildlife Rescue utilizes designated no-hunting sites all over Texas that have year-round adequate water and food sources, vegetation, and terrain. For the animals that cannot be released, there is sanctuary. Wildlife Rescue currently provides a permanent home for more than 600 animals who are not released due to physical disabilities or because they're not native to the area. Many were victims of the exotic pet trade, roadside zoos, research labs, abuse, or injury that precluded their release into the wild. These animals who now call Wildlife Rescue home, primates, bears, farm animals, wolves, mountain lions, and many others live their days out in enclosures where they can feel the sun, sit in the shade under a tree, experience a gentle breeze, and be provided with everything they need. There's just something so meaningful, there's something so important and so meaningful about rescuing an animal who spent his or her life in a two and a half by two and a half stainless steel box. That's all he or she has ever known, that and being experimented on. And suddenly they come to Wildlife Rescue, they get to climb trees, they're with their own kind, they get fresh fruits and vegetables, that, you know, it's just, we can't imagine any of that. Wildlife Rescue tirelessly continues this life-saving work with animals and also has the distinction of serving as many species as resources allow. With the 2012 Wild Ride Fund a Need proceeds, Wildlife Rescue was able to construct a new dome, a 20 by 38 foot building with two long flighted aviary yards. It's now home to several non-native birds and will house any other non-releasable animals in need. In 2013, our goal is to build a new native bird aviary, a 28 by 36 foot building with 12 rooms that can open up to each other to give the birds however much space they need to recover. The aviary would have release panels that could open to let the birds leave at their leisure when they're ready to rejoin the wild. Last year, Wildlife Rescue rehabilitated thousands of birds, over 70 different species, who would benefit immensely from such an aviary. 